Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back to everybody new. Hello and welcome. So you're looking at Bindi here. And to those of you new, um, Bindi is a full-bodied silicone baby girl and she's the Willow Awake sculpt by Claire Taylor. And she was painted by Jenny Lee of Wee Baby's Nursery. So I'm going to get um, Bindi dressed in a new outfit today. And I'm going to kind of experiment with maybe a little bit of a weird outfit combination um, that I thought would be fun. Um, I just took her out of a really cute next baby sleeper. Um, I really loved the print. <laughs> I almost didn't want to take her out of that because she's just so, like, cozy and, like, cuddly in it. But I have outfits that, you know, I got her for the winter. Um, in particular, um, I had gotten her some things for Christmas time, but then she turned out, um, like, not to be with me over that seat part you know part of the season that month so um I wanted to change things up a little bit so that it didn't look Christmassy like for instance this beautiful um romper from Jackety um it's a uh, rust color uh or burnt orange rust it depends on you know what you want to call it and it has the um, cream color polka dots on it it's super cute it has the little suspenders and they have the, these two little um, ruffles on them that's like that added feature that makes it girly looking really sweet um, it crisscrosses in the back and it's a um, it's in a corduroy it's a nice light corduroy material so really really cute so I had gotten this for her with um, a bodysuit that has, uh, she wore it with something else, um, but it has the little um, deer on it. It's a Peter Pan collar. And then the tights that are the cream color, and they have the little deers on them, and it has some red in it. So it dresses this romper into Christmassy. So... I said, well, it's past Christmas, and mm, um, so I thought about how I'm going to pair, what I'm going to do, da-da-da-da-da. I actually decided on doing a little bit of a funky combination. So I went with, because I have a white, and I might wind up needing, it might look really silly, but, <laughs> so I do have a white um, long sleeve, um, just turtle you know plain turtleneck out in case I need to change what I picked <laughs> but I pulled out this this um turtleneck from loved baby and it's in a beige color so it's darker it's darker than the cream in here it's in a beige it's from their vintage collection um it has the beautiful like brass looking um, buttons on the bottom here and um, anyway I had gotten it a while back I haven't used it yet but I got it for both Oscar and Bindi uh, thinking that it was just a good piece to have this like neutral color to go under things because you know sometimes you have rompers and things that they have a off white and you prefer to have um not stark white you know underneath so that is kind of what i'm going for here it is a zero it's a zero to three months yeah it's a zero to three months so as far as the bodysuit um this should fit bindi in the loved baby it should so Let's hope. And then I have um, a cream uh, pair of tights. And I actually, I 
have an order of shoes coming because Bindi really needed shoes. I really did not have much shoes, especially in the in girl shoes, um, because y'all know t I tend to lean towards baby, um, boys. This is gonna have to go over the head, even though I don't like to do this with the hair. There is no way this is getting up the other way on her. <laughs> Uh, the nice thing about Loved Baby is, though, is they have a lot of stretch and give. So even though this looks tight, um, it, I'm not having any problem, like, getting my whole hand through there like that or anything like that. So it should not be too much of a struggle to get on her. Honestly, I thought that the willow would be more difficult to dress than she actually is. I thought that she would be um, more difficult to hold more and more difficult to dress, just more difficult to handle, um, you know, because it's a soft silicone and uh, a bigger sculpt, you know. But she's really not um, at all. I mean... I guess, you know, I am used to handling silicone, but still, I think that for any collector, it's really not a very difficult sculpt to, to handle. And I, I feel like sometimes it looks like we're struggling a lot. I find, I see that with Oscar even too where it looks like I'm really struggling to get an outfit on him, but really in reality, I'm not. It just kind of looks that way on camera. It can be awkward <laughs> on camera with the silicones, um, especially with the winter stuff. I think find, especially with the long sleeve stuff, it tends to look more awkward. So anyway, this is like, I feel like a different, you know, um, outfit combination and, you know, the jockety and doing like, you know, the classic, you know, more fancy, uh, you know, Peter Pan collar type, you know, things. Often I pair jockety clothing together, you know, I will get the, you know, coordinating, um, bodysuit that, is intended to go with the that particular uh, romper or dress or pants or shorts, whatever. Um, I usually tend to do that because they they put out such nice um, clothing combos, and you know they're. I don't know. I think that they put out some very unique. Um, groupings of colors and what they put together and stuff as you all know i'm definitely a fan of jockety oh gosh her hair is a hot mess i did like wet it and just brush it a little bit before we got started because it was a mess but i feel like i made it worse oh <laughs> okay anywho so usually that's how i go um with the jockety sometimes i'll do like with Oscar, I'll use like a pair of comfy leggings or something with a sweater or a shirt, thing, you know, things like that, pairing different things. But I haven't ventured that. I certainly haven't ventured this far out yet. You know, I am still, um, I know some of you all will say, oh my gosh, your, your style, I love your style and da, 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 da. And like, that's actually like, kind of amazing for me to hear because many of you that have been following along my journey know that you know I've had to learn all these things I'm not I'm not really a fashionista I love to shop and stuff I'm just I never was all that great at putting things together and uh making decisions when shopping and but you, I learned so much as I went along. Like, I didn't know where to find different, certain styles that I liked and baby clothes and stuff. 
I learned everything from, um, you know, basically watching ladies here. And then when you go kind of shopping to look for something, then other stores will pop up. I mean, that's, I guess, the nice part of the your phone and the internet being like all up in and out of your business <laughs> because they know what we're shopping for so that they can put specific targeted ads and although it's a bit creepy when you like just like look something up like I don't know just say you're looking up a toaster and then all of a sudden you're on like Instagram or Facebook and like 20 ads for different places of toasters come up and you're like um okay but that is just you know the way that it is in this day and age and it's very hard to um have be like online and use a smartphone and stuff and you know every little thing that you have to sign up like your email for and that you forget along the way that you gave permission for because you needed to check out quick and buy something or communicate with someone on a certain app or whatever the case may be. Everything lands up somehow giving them permission to be in your business. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. Not that this video is about anything specific, just dressing Bindi. But um, yeah, that's how I kind of have learned. And I would say in the past year or so, um, year, year and a half now, um, I've been doing pretty good at figuring out what my style is that I love on the babies and that I'm actually having fun um shopping and putting together outfits whereas I think in the past I would shop like literally just to have clothes in that in a that size for a particular baby and um if I scored great and somehow put together an outfit or bought an outfit that was there like already put together it was like woohoo brownie points for me but it wasn't like the norm for me and now I think feel like I've gotten pretty good at finding what I like and one style that I tend to lean towards is the earthy tones and the more vintage rustic rustic country style look anyhow and I think that I've seen some things you know paired together that you wouldn't expect um so this is one of them not that I ever seen this but you know what I'm saying it was just like hey this might work And as I kind of laid it out all together, I was like, this looks really cute, you know? So, I don't know. We'll see. At least everything's in the cream, the brown family. I mean, our color combination's right. That's one thing um, I am still, like, so afraid of is color. Is mixing different colors. Putting a, a you know mixing colors or prints for those of you that dare to do that um um I I don't kind of have an eye for that <laughs> so I feel like I would look it would look really silly so I'm staying in the same color family but just you know thinking out of the box as far as the two styles and we'll see how this goes but I have a feeling it's gonna be really cute you know what I love the look of the little like rompers like this and then 
the big, like, bulky, oversized, like, sweaters and things like that under them. That is so adorable. That's a, probably a harder style to do with these babies, but nevertheless, it's really cute. All right, so what do you all think? <laughs> this is what this looks like. I think it looks really cute. I think I probably, I think I probably like the classic jockety look better, you know, the, this has um, the white romper with it, with the little Peter Pan collar and the deers on it. Like, that's what the outfit, like, you know, is supposed to be paired with. Or one of the pieces it's supposed to be paired with. I'm not sure. Well, I don't know. What do you all think? I think I probably should have went with socks. Like, maybe even these socks instead of the tights huh i'm gonna have to play around with this i think i might like this now also shoes that's what i was about to say so i ordered some shoes and they were supposed to arrive today from the children's salon but i didn't realize that they had a signature required so i went on later in the day um to uh, wave like the signature and put instructions to leave at the front door. But by that time, I think they had already tried to deliver because it just said new rescheduled delivery date was, um, tomorrow or today. Cause you got, you all will be seeing this Wednesday. So I'm pretty sure that I missed the delivery. Um, so I don't, so there, I do have shoes in mind that are actually coming. <laughs> um, and for now, believe it or not, actually what I was going to put on her is Oscar shoes. I think these shoes um, can be used for a boy or a girl, although more traditionally nowadays you see these as I would I would view these as boys' shoes, but <laughs> she's a baby, and it almost I felt like well it it matched up the it might bring together the beige, and that it also might give that more cutesy like boot kind of look, down dressing the. I used to do that with myself. My, I was, uh, you know, like in, when not in high school and stuff, I would put together, like I would wear like almost like a women's like fancy suit jacket with like a pair of jeans. You know, I would mix, you know, to like totally down dress. Um, well, I could pretty much down dress anything because I'm um, just not a fancy schmancy kind of <laughs> lady this is cute yeah i'm thinking plus also these tights i don't know which ones these might have been from h&m i think they were from h&m they don't fit all that perfectly they're kind of like baggy around here so it's very hard to find tights that fit these dolls good the one pair of pretty originals that I have, are, it seems to be the only pair that actually fits. All right, so that is the shoe. I like it, actually. Even though it's boyish, I like this. I do, I do think I like this better with the knee socks as opposed to these tights because see it's all around her ankle here and, and just the whole look I think these feel it feels like these are kind of too light for the whole thing even though there's light cream in there I don't know it just doesn't something doesn't feel right I I like the look I like the 
the romper with the shirt. I just don't like the tights. So I'm going to play around and change that. And then I will take, I change that. Yeah, well, I'll change that, that, that look. And, um, then I'll take some pictures on Instagram. Look at my cute girl. Look at you. She's so sweet. I just, I love the way this doll feels. She, she moves and feels like so good. So real. Yes, you do. You're so cutesy. <laughs> but anyways, all right. So, um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, there's always a link down below. Come follow me there because, like, when I change her, you know, when I do the socks and stuff, I'll take pictures. I'll put them up on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Don't make, sh <laughs> don't forget to make sure you smash that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And also, my channel has a membership. So, if you would like to become a part of the Pixie Squad, it's $1.99 a month. It's all inclusive. You can cancel it at any time. You must be 18 years old or older to join. But that's where I do exclusive live streams and other contents and perks. So, for less than the price of a cuppy, 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 cup of coffee, <laughs> um, come on in. Um, and hang out. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed seeing sweet little Bindi. I left her in her disposable diaper because I think probably the next video that I'll do with her will be a drink and wet feeding. All right, everyone. Till next time. God bless.